Hello children, hope all of us are doing good. Now the topic for today is simple machines and the key elements that we will cover are liver, inclined plane, screw, wedge, wheel and axle and pulley. Now हमारी जो रोज की लाइफ है उसमें हम बड़े सारे छोटे छोटे टूल्स या मशीन्स यूज करते हैं अब ये मशीन्स हैं क्या एनी ऑब्जेक्ट दैट मेक्स आवर वर्क ईजियर इज कॉल्ड अ मशीन तो सारे वो डिवाइसेस या टूल्स जिनकी वजह से हमारे काम करने की क्षमता आसान हो जाती है उन्हें हम मशीन कहते हैं नाओ ये हमारा काम तो आसान करती हैं लेकिन कोई भी मशीन अपने आप से काम नहीं करती हर मशीन के काम करने के लिए उसके ऊपर बाहर से कुछ फोर्स या फिर कुछ भी वर्क अप्लाई करना ज़रूरी है फॉर एग्जांपल, मान लो हमें कैंची से कोई कपड़ा काटना है अब सिज़र अपने आप से कोई कपड़ा नहीं काटेगी हमें उस सिज़र को ऑपरेट करना पड़ेगा सिमिलरली किसी ने कुएं से पानी निकालना है अपने आप तो नहीं निकलेगा तो जो पुली लगी है उसके ऊपर से कोई रोप को पहले नीचे करेगा फिर ऊपर खींचेगा सिमिलरली अगर हमें कार का टायर चेंज करना है तो जो जैक स्क्रू लगेगा उसके ऊपर भी किसी को तो काम करना पड़ेगा सो मशीन दो इट मेक्स आर वर्क ईजी बट इट कैन नॉट वर्क बाय इट सेल्फ नाउ देर आर two types of machines simple machines and complex machines now simple machine can change the directions of forces applied to them or multiply the effects of forces matlab jo simple machines hain wo hame kaise help karti hain ki jo force hum apply kar rahe hain wo kisi direction mein ja raha hai ya fir wo wale force ka effect multiply ho jata hai so examples of simple machines are a pair of tongs a screw and a knife and maybe some more now we come to complex machines so complex machines are made up of a combination of two or more simple machines a tractor a sewing machine and a bicycle are the examples of complex machines so simple machines agar ek se zyada hum combine kare tab hum complex machine bana sakte hain now the bicycle makes use of nearly every kind of simple machine in order to make a more complex machine first of all we will look at the simple machines now simple machines are the devices that change the direction and increase magnitude of applied force there are six different kinds of simple machines liver wedge inclined plane wheel and axle screw and pulley first of all let us look at the liver a liver is a bar that rests on a point or support called a fulcrum on which it can move freely the object to be moved is called the load the force applied on the load is called the effort now there are three types of lever first is the lever of first type in this type the fulcrum is between the effort and the load scissor seesaw crowbar pliers claw hammer etc are the examples of lever of first type now comes the lever of second type in this type of lever the load is between the fulcrum and the effort wheel barrow bottle opener nut cracker nail clipper etc are the examples of lever of the second type now comes the lever of the third type in this type the effort is between the fulcrum and the load so fishing rod turner tong spade etc are the examples of lever of the third type now let us look at what is an inclined plane an inclined plane is a plane surface which connects a lower level to a higher level now inclined planes are used to load drums on a truck 
and to push up the vehicles in the houses. Objects that are too heavy to be lifted can be pushed up or rolled up on an inclined plane. So ramp, sloping roof, chisel, hatchet, carpenter's plane etc. are the examples of inclined planes. Let us see now what is a screw. A screw is a revolving inclined plane. The threads of a screw may be considered as an inclined plane wrapped around the axis of a screw. So examples are a screw cap of a bottle and a screw jack. A screw jack is used to lift cars and other heavy objects. Now here is an interesting activity. A pencil lije, a paper. जो स्क्वायर शीट है उसको ऐसे कट करो कि इट फॉर्म्स अ राइट ट्रायंगल एंड देन विद अ रेड कलर मार्क दी इंक्लाइंड साइड ऑफ द पेपर आप क्या करेंगे आप कि इस पेपर को पेंसिल के अराउंड रोल करेंगे तो ये जो रेड कलर है ना एज का दैट गिव्स द फीलिंग एज इफ इट इज अ स्क्रू नाउ लेट अस लुक एट अ वेज अ वेज हैज two inclined planes which meet at a sharp edge and is used to cut materials apart so examples of a wedge are chisel knife blade axe woodcutter etc let us now study wheel and axle now when a wheel is used with an axle it becomes a simple machine an axle is also a form of a wheel so a wheel and axle consists of two wheels of different diameters which are attached together now wheel transforms turning motions into straight line motion so examples of wheel and axle are tap bicycle pedal sewing machine screw driver steering wheel etc let us now look at a pulley a pulley is a simple machine that uses grooved wheel and a rope to raise lower or move a load it consists of a grooved wheel that rotates around a fixed point called the fulcrum a rope passing over the pulley is connected to the load to raise or lower it a combination of pulleys may be used to lift a heavy load with a small force a pulley is used to draw water from a well to hoist a flag on a pole etc so what were the key takeaways from this chapter a machine is a device which makes our work easier to do machines are of two types simple machine and complex machine simple machine are the devices that change the direction and increase magnitude of applied force there are six kinds of simple machines lever inclined plane screw wedge wheel and axle and pulley There are three types of lever scissors is the example of first type wheelbarrow is the example of second type and turner is the example of third type so i hope this chapter is clear to all of us and we can answer questions based on this topic